This lesson is going to be focused on CSS. So you're welcome to skip this or you're welcome to apply your own CSS. And as well, you can listen through what I'm going to be implementing in order to provide some CSS styling for the various elements that we created within our HTML. So first of all, starting with the clock, let's add some different styling. We can add a background color to that. So make our clock blue. We'll set our width to be 600 picks. Also, we're going to text align. So text align center. Update the font color. So turn that to be white. And we'll update the font size as well. So font size and set that to 2EM. So refresh, see what that looks like. So there's our clock output there. And of course, I do have it really on a big screen. So uh, I can actually, I'm going to make this smaller down to 1EM. So you might want to adjust it however works best for you. I'm going to update those inner spans of class. So the first spans that we have within the clock. So clock and all of the first spans. How about we do five picks of padding? Also do a border radius to round it a little bit. So 10 picks of border radius and do a background color for this one as well and set that to be black so it stands out. So now we've got our countdown there. We also need a little bit more spacing around the clock from the input field. Let's uh, select our input, apply some styling to that. I'm going to do 15 picks of padding, also a margin of 20 picks, and we'll do a larger font size for this one as well. Refresh and see what that looks like. So I've got our input there. I've got my time that's being output there. And let's update the last bit here where we've got a span and a span inside of a span and setting that as, how about we set it to dark blue? So refresh. So there's our times there that we're setting. So there we have our countdown timer with a little bit of styling. And of course, you can apply your own styling as needed. And actually, I'm going to change it from dark blue to red so that they stand out a little bit more. So now when we refresh it, we've got more outstanding content. We can also add in a little bit more padding as well, maybe a little bit less padding, so that we've got our days, hours, minutes, and seconds. And we can always adjust this and select it, and we can see that it changes as well, in addition to when we make our updates. Let's take something further into the future, and you see that we've got a nice looking countdown timer, and when we refresh it, all the functionality is still there. So go ahead and add this and update it, add some styling, have some fun with it. Thanks again for taking this and learning how to develop out this countdown timer.